Freemasonry is one of the oldest social and charitable organizations in the world. But what does it mean to be a Freemason? It means something different to everybody, and that's what's good about Freemasonry. It's unique to those that, that join. It's that feeling of togetherness or belonging. There's more that brings us together than separates us. The friendship, the formality, the ritual, the curiosity, the opportunity to learn more about Freemasonry every day. You learn to be tolerant and, and accept uh, all others uh, as being your brothers. It offers an ability to do a lot of public good. There are around 250,000 Freemasons in the UK and a further six million around the world. I'd always been curious about becoming a Freemason and what surprised me was that Freemasons are actually quite open and honest about their membership. I went in and it's been an absolutely fantastic journey ever since. People become Freemasons via many different routes. I was in the pub and a few, few friends had come in with suits and funny suitcases and I, I asked them what's it all about and they, they told me a little bit and I said I'm not strangling chickens or whatever it is you do. Um, anyway, I gave it a go and eight years later I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Our members come from all walks of life. We're from so many different backgrounds, from bus drivers and tradesmen to actuaries and lawyers, accountants. You know, I'm really proud of that. Famous past members include Sir Winston Churchill and George Washington, writer Rudyard Kipling, and scientist Sir Alexander Fleming, actors Peter Sellers and Oliver Hardy, and singer Nat King Cole. I went into it with uh, an open mind, um, and I, I'm glad I did because I've thoroughly enjoyed the experience ever since. Organised Freemasonry began some 300 years ago. Its origins lie with medieval stonemasons. The medieval stonemasons were concerned with building the great buildings that we see around us. Freemasons use that as an analogy for building ourselves into better people. It was from the stonemasons that we draw many of our traditions, such as our handshakes. So in medieval times, stonemasons would move from project to project, whether it be cathedral or castle. They would have some sort of way of confirming to those people that they met that they had the required skill level to work on that project. The grip you gave showed how good of a stonemason you were, your level of competence. A handshake is used within Freemason ceremonies to show the level a member has reached. It's also from the ancient stonemasons that we get our unique dress code, the famous apron. In medieval times, the apron would be a functional piece of equipment that would protect stonemasons from stone chips and dirt. But for us, it's very much a symbolic part of our regalia that we wear when we're in our meetings. A new member starts with a plain white apron. It then becomes more ornate and decorated as one progresses. Our aprons include many symbols, emblems and insignias, all with very specific meanings. When you become senior, you might get a dark blue apron and eventually you get one that looks a bit, a bit like this. Drawing on our connections with the medieval stonemasons, the teachings of Freemasonry are enshrouded in building terminology. All of Freemasonry is about building something. It's about building a, a building, but actually it's really about building a person. It's about building a person's moral standing. We use symbolic tools to teach our members how to lead productive lives that benefit their communities. There's the plum rule, the plum rule is about one's demeanour, being, being straight and upright. The square and the level. 
So phrases like on the square or on the level means treating people equally and decently. And the compass. Compass is an instrument which draws a circle or an arc or a line. And to us, that line is something that you shouldn't cross. You don't step over into bad behavior. You try and keep yourself controlled and behaving as you should. Brethren, please be upstanding to receive your worshipful master, accompanied by his wardens. Freemasons come together as lodges. These groups of 20 to 30 members meet between four and eight times a year. In the UK alone, there are more than 7,000 lodges. My lodge itself, I think, is a testament to sort of the diversity. We have British members, Chinese, we have Indians, we have Brazilian members. The centerpiece of each lodge meeting is a ceremony. For me, I love the, the ritual and the traditions. A ritual sounds like a word that should be scary, but it's, think of it like a play. I enjoy learning the words of the play. When lodge ceremonies are conducted, we learn uh, a number of things um, that are very useful to life. Um, how we should behave ourselves in society, how we treat others. The ceremonies teach members about our symbolism and help them learn more about what Freemasonry is and what it stands for. My worthy brother, I present to you an explanation of the first degree tracing board. Every day I'm finding out something new. We always try to make a daily advancement in our Masonic knowledge. Freemasonry provides a structure of support to help members make positive contributions to their community and to society. There's an awful lot of people who are searching for something more in their lives. In Freemasonry, you try to build yourself into a better human being, into somebody who doesn't just necessarily take the easy way out or do the easy things, but to try to do the right things. To progress in Freemasonry, members work their way through levels or degrees. There is a first degree, a second degree, and a third degree. Nobody in Freemasonry gets a shortcut to the top. Everybody has to start at the bottom and progress through the different levels. When a person joins, they complete the first degree and become what is known as an entered apprentice. The first degree teaches us that it's the job of those people who've done well to think on those who have done less well and look after them. My brother, as you have been passed through the ceremony of your initiation, allow me to congratulate you on being admitted a member of our ancient and honourable institution. Congratulations. It was a mixture of anticipation, trepidation, uh, but also excitement as well. But it was a really touching moment to have my uncle there and people that I cared about supporting me. It was in February, so I was frozen, which I thought was sort of part and parcel of the sort of test that you had to go through. Freemasons live by four key principles. Integrity, friendship, respect, and charity. We are a caring society of men, and we want to look after people and make sure that they're okay. In the UK alone, we are one of the largest charitable givers. In 2018, we contributed more than £48 million to worthy causes. It's a really humbling experience to see where that money goes and why they need that money. It's fantastic. Our charitable projects cover a wide variety of areas. Blood bikes, teddies for loving care, life lights helping disabled children, sponsorship of the RNLI and the Air Ambulance. In the UK, members also give an estimated five million hours of unpaid voluntary service every year. We involved ourselves in helping the charity physically rather than just giving money. 
one of our top aims in life is to be charitable, and we are extremely successful at it. Freemasonry may be centuries old, but it's still incredibly relevant to people's lives today. In a society where we are so fractured, it brings people together. It's given me friendship, um, it's given me camaraderie, it's, it's helped me through some of my darkest times. Freemasonry is a great leveller. Everybody there is your brother. It has evolved to meet the age in which it, in which it lives, and I hope it continues to evolve today. <laughs>